Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a bit of a placement guide for you for anyone who's starting placement or on placement at the moment and is a bit unsure about what is involved, what you need to do. This is kind of a few things I wish I knew before starting placement and I hope you enjoy. So first things first is be confident. Be confident in your abilities when you're on placement. Go in to a new placement, you know, tall and confident. Obviously you're nervous, but your mentors and um, the other people on the team can sense that. So if you go in with a bit of confidence, I'm not saying like, you know, give me the scalpel, I'll, you know, I'm not saying like dramatic confidence where you be overly cocky. Even just the confidence to be able to go up to a patient. And if you're not confident, fake it till you make it you know because you want to feel confident and definitely by the end of a placement you will be feeling more confident than the first day but if you go in with that bit of confidence then it just makes such a difference okay so the next tip in my guide is it sounds silly but looking presentable and professional so part of the grading process for student nurses is being professional and looking the part so Although it's quite a superficial thing, you're working with patients and you expect a level of profession, profession, professionalism. So as a student, you're going to be working with patients and other members of the team. So that requires a level of professionalism that comes from how you act, but also how you look as well. So making sure that your uniform is ironed, it's not dirty, you wash it after every shift, your hair is up, out your face, um, if it's below your shoulders you've got to have it up anyway, so making sure that you're not kind of like not flicking it around. Makeup, you can wear it, um, I don't just because I can't be bothered to faff around in the morning and put a face, full face of makeup on, but as long as it's kind of not intense like a pink a pink eye look or anything again with hair dye they say you know not to dye your hair but I mean it doesn't bother me I as long as you're helping the patient and looking after them I don't care what color hair you've got but I think within the grading marks they say kind of not like crazy hair colors and you've got the correct shoes on making sure that your shoes are leather and they're not you know, if they're, as long as they're black trainers, it doesn't really matter. But if you come in with bright red trainers, then someone's going to pick you up on it and say something. And you just really don't want anything that could cause you either for them to fail your placement because you just don't want that at all. And also a reason for them to have a problem with you. Um, some people will pick a problem with any student they've got. That's just them as a mentor. But if you can try and avoid that and, and just look professional... Um, then that's easy that's easy to do you don't have to worry about learning anything that's just basic so that's one thing that I would say thirdly I would say arrive early for placement so don't be kind of rushing in at seven o'clock when they're just about to do handover and you're sure you have plenty of time to get changed into a uniform as part of that making sure you've got your ID with you again with professionalism just making sure that you look the part so you've got your ID um, your fitness to practice card which makes sure that you're able to be a student on the ward making sure that you've got a pen and paper or notepad in your pocket because nothing worse than someone asking you to write something down and you're looking for a pen because nine times out of ten there's not a pen on the ward and nobody is willing to give up their own pen. Basic easy things make placement run so much smoother I find. So don't worry if you don't know everything. I said about being confident but I'm not talking about faking you know knowing everything and having all this wide range of knowledge when you don't. You're not expected to know that as I said you're there to learn and they are there to teach you. So don't say you know it if you don't because you're putting yourself at risk as well as the patients and also you're missing an opportunity to learn something. I found this really difficult to kind of understand that I'm not going to know everything and even your mentor who's been in this job for like 20 years doesn't know everything so not being so hard on yourself with that aspect and kind of learning as much as you can because you're observing observing <laughs> absorbing all this information on placement it's quite tiring so kind of being able to go, actually, I don't know that, I'll learn that, or 
I can learn that another time. It's not essential for my learning right now to have to know about, I can't think of an example, but you don't need to know everything. As long as you know the basics, you're fine. So following on from that, ask questions. So asking them now as a student, whilst you're supernumerary and someone's there to teach you is fine. And as I said, nobody knows everything. Even qualified nurses will ask other colleagues for maybe medication they've never heard of or an illness they've never heard of. So ask as many questions as you can and that's the way you learn. If your mentor's busy or whoever you're working with is busy at the time, write something down on your notepad. You can either go home and look at that after your shift, which is what I tend to do, um, rather than like asking questions all the time. I'll ask the main ones that I think are useful at the time and then I'll go home and look up the rest. So the next one is don't be afraid to say you can't do it. So for example, I can't do IVs. I haven't been trained in it. And a nurse said to me, oh, you can just do that. And I do know how to do it from watching them, but I haven't been trained, I haven't been signed off, and the university said I can't do that yet. So don't be afraid to say no, because some of the nurses don't know what kind of level you're at, and if you're not allowed to do it, you can't do it. So don't worry about saying no. That also goes with, say for example, you've never changed the dressing, and someone says to you, can you just go and do that? And you can say, actually, I haven't done that before, I don't mind doing it, and you observe, but I haven't done it on my own before, so if you wouldn't mind showing me. Because it saves time rather than you going to the patient, having no clue what you're doing, messing it up, and then going back to the nurse and being like, sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, make it a learning opportunity, as I keep saying, you're there to learn, so say you don't know how to do it, but actually, I am confident that I can do it with you observing me, and then that's the best way to learn. So this one's probably maybe for like first years more than any other year, is that don't panic if you lose your mentor. I have stood around so many times like a lemon on the ward, like, oh my God, where's my mentor? What am I doing in my first year? And now if I lose my mentor or the person I'm working with, I'll go and talk to patients. I'll have a look on the boards and see what they're saying rather than standing there. Not very nice to feel like that, but you are because you don't know what to do. So yeah, don't panic if they walk off or leave you because sometimes they do um, without like unintentionally as well. They don't always do it on purpose, but don't just stand around waiting for them. You can help someone else, maybe take some observations for another nurse. Trust me though, if you've done that, I did it so many times in my first year probably even my first placement in my second year, I would just never know what to do because they'd be like, I'm just gonna go and um, you know, check this patient out. And I'd be like, oh, you haven't said what I can do. Whereas now, I'd just be like, okay, I'll use your initiative and think of something that you can do with that time. And finally, um, I just wanted to touch on this because I think this is quite important. It's not really like a tip for placement, but if you don't like the placement you're on, it doesn't mean you're not gonna like nursing, it just means you don't like that ward, and that's fine. I remember when thinking, I want to find a placement which I love, and I haven't found one yet. And rather than thinking, actually, I've done four placements which I didn't like so much, I wouldn't want to work there, turning that into a positive and thinking, okay, I can cross those off my list, I can look at other placements or other wards I want to go on. So. Yeah, just if you don't like it, it doesn't mean you're not gonna like nursing. And I definitely know how that feels because you feel kind of disheartened. You're like, well, if I don't like this, then I'm not gonna enjoy the career. It's not true at all. Every ward and speciality is so different. There will be a ward that you go on and you go, actually, I do really like this. And if there's not, look back at your placement and think, what ward did I hate the least? Can I go there for six months and then decide? where you kind of get your confidence and then go to another ward. It just really depends, but you will be able to find a ward you enjoy. I just wanted to quickly say that in the thumbnail, so the first photo was on my first day I tried on my uniform and I was so excited to wear the uniform because I was like, oh my gosh, I feel like a proper nurse. Um, so I just wanted to say that. When we all tried it on and it was just so fun. Like just thinking back to that, all of us trying on a uniform. And I can imagine it'll be exactly the same when we all get jobs, um, which is just really exciting. This bit of hair is just peeking through. 
there you go so that is my little placement guide i can film another one if you guys have any more questions or want me to do some more this is just stuff that i wish i'd known before i started and really basic useful tips but that i think are so important and just really help make the placement go smoother and just more enjoyable so i really hope you enjoyed watching and i will see you soon bye